Hello. Welcome back to the YouTube space. You're gonna come with me to Paris. It is Monday morning and I feel very grateful that I get to go on an incredible trip with a brand that I use and absolutely love. So that is very, very exciting. I'm going with Kerastase and I'm gonna take you along with me as much as I can. We'll see how we go but I will insert clips and it's probably gonna be a little bit of like getting ready with me, a makeup look, my hair, etc., things like that. So hopefully it'll be fun. Yeah, I love trips like this. It's amazing, but obviously like I just it, uh, got a lot going on. So I just means I've had to be very organized, which is incredible. I've packed, I've got a problem and I, I'm gonna blame my dyslexia. I think I've done this before, I'm gonna do it again. I cannot pack, I, do, I can't pack. It's so difficult. I overpack so much, like so much. It's a joke. I've unpacked and repacked maybe, maybe two, three times now. I don't even know what I've got. It's all in there. <sighs> See my lip? I put it on wrong, but it's called like Wonder Lust, this lip stuff. It basically stains your lips so you don't have to put a lip liner on and off. Obviously, I just put it on really quickly, so it looks a bit odd, but so good. I think, especially if you're a gym girl and like me, you don't wear makeup to the gym, but you just want like, a nice lip because I feel like a nice glossy lip and like glossy skin. Mm. I can't pack. Anyone else can relate. Please let me know. But this is this is the situation. This is what we've got, and this is heavy, like so heavy, full, completely full. Two nights. What what is even in there? What is even in there? I've got enough toiletries for I don't know three months. I've got enough clothes for, yeah, rotate, probably three months. I need some tips and help for packing. And I did do it in advance. I started like last week pulling some bits out because I know how hectic life gets. So I purposely pulled bits out and I still have a patch. I've just seen there's a dress that I've not packed, which I'm looking at and I'm thinking, shall I pack it? Do you know what it is? I think as well, it's like, you want something that you, you know you're gonna feel good in something that like is boom and then like shoes to match in case you want to wear the outfit that you just feel comfortable in it's just so many options but anyway guys i'm blabbering i'm about to get picked up so um i will see you i'll show you my outfit before we leave i'm gonna i'm gonna get a bit french this is what i'm wearing chic de freak farbell girlfriend lpa collective jackamus nike trainers mulberry bag In a hotel, so I'm just gonna give you a little, little hotel tour. That's the loo, that's very weird, lovely. <gasps> oh, how nice is the shower? And then, obviously, talking into an egg, an egg sandwich, an egg sandwich, coffee. <clears throat> oh my god, heavenly, <clears throat> just. Haven't they? Sofa, and then we've got all the Kerastars goodies, and this big bed with no Alex. We are going for a dinner um, in a couple hours. Got a little bit of downtime, so I'm just gonna unpack, finish some work, and then I also need to get ready. I'm gonna shower. That is the plan of action, team. And uh, the next time you see me, I might be transformed. Hopefully. Hello, this is what I've gone for. Normal Kamali dress. It's been a stress. This is this is the vibe though. Mm. Mm -mm. Delicious dinner. Bloody delicious. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to turn the telly off. And then I'm gonna go to bed. Just like, there's no buttons. I need to But anyway, that was lovely. Gonna get, oh well, it was a lot earlier. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on my phone before bed whilst listening to my favorite music. And then we are gonna try and get up early-ish. I would like to try and like do some kind of movement tomorrow, whether it's just like going out for a little walk in the morning, but we're leaving at 
20 past nine. Um, so that may not work just because I need to do some bits on my laptop and I need to get ready, which I realized can take quite a long time sometimes by the time I actually get round to getting ready, you know. Anyway, I've organized my life a little bit and I'm waiting for my person to fix my TV. I feel very, very grateful to be in such a lovely hotel and just, I always just think like, didn't you me, you know, also. I saw Camilla Coppo, Coppo, um, at the outside of the hotel. I'm so unsettled. I don't know, she's like one of those women, I'm just like, oh, you know, she's just nailing it. And she had a pink coat on, and I know she was like this. Obviously, you know, I'm blind as a fan. I was like, I recognize her, why? And then tomorrow morning, we are going to the Caristas Talks event, where they've got some key speakers, which will be fun. Yeah, I don't know I'm gonna wear to that one yet. Got a couple options. One option, which is like very, Mm -mm, sexy, but also it's very similar to the outfit I'm wearing in the evening. And then I've got another one which is a bit more like cool, but like no skin on show. Shock, I know, like quite oversized. I don't know, it depends how I feel, because I don't know if I want to look like a lollipop tomorrow or like a walking bobbing head or a bit more like boo. Anywho, I'm very excited to wash my hair in the morning. I'm still waiting for my bloody television man. Come on, I want to go to bed. Morning, just ordered some uh, matcha, toast, poached eggs, and a croissant because we're in France, so uh, it would be really rude not to. Oh, that was cute. I'm gonna not exercise this morning, we're leaving at nine. Uh, I just gotta rest. Mentally, I feel itchy, you know? Maybe I'll do a little stretch, actually. But it's so dark outside. Let's spend the day together. This is the final look. I've gone for red shoes. I was torn between the silver and the red, but I feel like survive potentially so that was genuinely one of my favorite kind of mornings ever, like moments in terms of events and things that I've been to. There was such an incredible feminine energy that was just so prevalent within that room. And some of the speakers, like I welled up quite a few times. Poets were just, I just can't even describe it. Rupika, Rupika. She is just insane. I actually, like, actually obsessed. And what, one thing that she said that like personally like, resonated with me was that she said about, so I'm dyslexic. Let's just back back it up. Um, I'm dyslexic and don't like reading, but what I do really like doing is when I read, I love to like read it. Like sometimes I'll, like if I read something, I'll like perform it to Alex almost, and I'll read it to him. Like I really love doing that, like bringing it to life. And what she said was speak the poems. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. And like, you, you don't have to read loads. It's like speaking something and believing it and, um, yeah, it was just incredible. Ebony Davis as well was, honestly, I felt like, well, with both these women, I just, I felt like I was in the presence of like greatness, like genuinely. I really wanna find somewhere where I can go in London and listen to poetry like this with like music in the background and words and storytelling. It's just like, oh, I just really genuinely loved it so much. Like I find it really hard to focus. And both of them, I was like so, like I didn't look away at all. I was just so encapsulated by what they were saying. And oh, when women, women, it's just like, mm, so good. Um, so yeah, they were absolutely insane. Loved, loved, loved. Business owners, just lots of a variety of women. Then obviously being in a room full of um, all the creators who are also obviously on their own journey paths and inspiring, inspired by others. It was just incredible. I'm very, very grateful to be um, able to go to events like that. I went for the red lip in the end, which I'm so glad I did. Mm, this is the combination. A combination, that's Drake's song. It's a YSL, it's called Rouge Per Couture. Butcher that one right up. And then the uh, Lip Injection Extreme, like, Honestly, Too Faced, this one. I put this on with a nude lip as well. And it's just like, chef's kiss. 
anyway, um, I'm going to have a little bit of food. I might actually take myself for a little jog around the city. <laughs> slow 5k but a 5k well it was a little bit longer actually to be fair because um yeah didn't get lost i just went ran straight basically ran to the louvre museum oh yeah the louvre that's it that's it yeah that's the one and a french man on a motorbike i was running kind of like just looking checking where i was going the right way and he stopped and went looked at me and went bravo and i was like Haha. and then carried on walking and then i passed him again and then yeah. And he looked at me again and I was like, oh, for sake. so I just ran across the crossing. And then I ran further, a little bit past the hotel. And then I ran back on myself. As I was running back on myself, he came onto the pavement mm -hmm. and was like, oh, excuse me, excuse me. And I would literally just ran. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're so beautiful. I'm not sure about that. Back in the hotel, guys. It's fucking almost one o'clock and I've just got, I'm ready. Crazy cat, crazy cat. Just called room service. I thought I'm gonna get myself some chips. He offered me soup. Soup. And we're having a time bar, which is delicious. Um, and then I'm gonna sleep. That was very cute. I wish I'd done a bit more networking. I'm just my own worst enemy, you know? Also doesn't help that I'm blind. I literally can't see what's going on. Like, I need to sort that out, to be honest with you. Wipe the room a little bit more. I didn't really realise what was going on. I just stayed with the UK team. Obviously, lovely. Um, but there was a whole other room that I missed out on. And then I saw it, like, right before we were leaving. Anywho, you live and you learn. I'm not going to lie. I had tip tape on. And... Oh, I didn't realise how bad it was until I looked. Oh, like, my skin feels raw. Like, what the fuck is that? Why does my skin feel raw? We're gonna ignore that for now. I'm gonna eat the rest of my kind bar. Oh, I'm gonna show you folks today. So, theme is pink. How cute are we? It's me, Ling, and Olivia. Oh. I mean, is mine pink? Is it? I think it's fuchsia. Everyone on pink. She was singing in French, very passionately, and I was like, I want to be on the level of passion, but also I have no idea what you're saying. Stop swearing so much. Alex actually, the day, me and Alex, we were in a meeting and both of us swore collectively four times. Why? Like he's not a swearer at all. It's just, I think we're both like, Fuck, you know? Rebecca is so good. Honestly, she just gets it. So we, there we are, where are we? This is just walking, boom, 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 boom. And then these ones are my fave, don't know who she is because it's definitely not me right now. That was such an amazing trip and oh just yeah incredible very grateful obviously as always to be invited and get to meet like incredible women. I just wish I'd met more of them but I'm actually meeting tomorrow morning. I've got half past eight so I better get to bed. I've got half past eight and I'm gonna meet um Rupi who is um and Shilpa um who is the founder of um, Honey and Milk book, which I never remember book names, but I love Honey and Milk. And I love Honey and Milk, hot milk and honey in the evenings. Like, what a treat. I'm eating them in the morning. So actually I need to have a look where their hotel is because I said I'd go to their hotel. So hopefully it's really close. Anyway, I'm gonna snuggle into this bed and um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning. Uh, we are now just in the um, train station. I'm going to treat myself to a little diet of Coca Cola. I'm going to clock this off. I don't know what kind of vlog this is going to be. Um, so let's give you a tour of this because I feel like you've got not, not had a tour of anything else. Um, no, I'm too scared. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, love you. And the takeaways from this trip are that women are amazing. Goodbye.